I want to give you some premillennial thoughts on the Antichrist. So in the premillennial understanding, there are some passages that you connect, and I want to tell you exactly why and how uh, they do what they do. Hopefully I can do it in just a few minutes. Number one, I would point you to the book of Daniel. Daniel chapter 7 speaks of a little horn. Uh, this little horn is told to come from this fourth kingdom. Uh, he's a horn that rises up, and he's going to be um, different. It says in Daniel chapter 7, in verse 24, says that he shall be different from the first ones and shall subdue three, subdue three kings. He shall speak pompous words against the Most High, shall persecute the saints of the Most High, shall intend to change times and law. Then the saints shall be given into his hand for a time, times, and half a time. So this is speaking of who the premillennials would call the Antichrist. They would also call attention to Daniel in chapter 9. In Daniel chapter 9, in verse 26, we read this. After 62 weeks, Messiah shall be cut off, but not for himself. And the people of the prince who is to come shall destroy the city and the sanctuary. The end of it shall be with the flood until the end of the war desolations are determined. Then he shall confirm a covenant with many for one week. But in the middle of the week, he shall bring an end to sacrifice and offering. So whenever we think about uh, the premillennial structure, the next thing that happens is a rapture and then seven years of tribulation. One week in Daniel's week equals seven years. That's where the seven-year thought comes from. In Daniel 9.27, it says, Then he shall confirm, Antichrist, confirm a covenant with many for one week, seven years. And you've heard that the Antichrist will come, he'll make peace, and everything will be fine in Israel. But in the middle of the week, three and a half years in, he shall bring an end to sacrifice and offering, and on the wing of abominations shall be one who makes desolate. So at the three and a half year mark, the Antichrist walks into the temple, performs the abomination of desolation. That's Antichrist thought. That's where the seven years comes from. That's where um, the little horn gets connected to this prince who is to come. And I want to show you a couple passages in the New Testament that they would connect to this person as well. Uh, the very uh, first thing you need to connect it to would be the Olivet Discourse, where you see the abomination of desolation in the Olivet Discourse in Matthew 24. And in Mark's Olivet Discourse, they would um, connect it to that. Some people will connect it to Luke's Olivet Discourse. I don't see how you can disconnect Matthew, Mark, and Luke and their Olivet Discourses. Um, but the strong emphasis would be placed on Matthew's Discourse, and it, where it says abomination and desolation. Connect that to Little Horn, to the Prince who is to come, the abomination of desolation in Matthew 24. Also, you've probably heard this passage, the man of lawlessness from 2 Thessalonians 2. That would be, in their opinion, the same person uh, all the way through. Then in 1 John chapter 2 and verse, I believe it's in verse 18, where he says that you have heard that Antichrist is coming. They would connect that as well, that we're still looking for that same Antichrist to come, who uh, John's writers in the first century were. Then this would be connected to the Beast of Revelation. So let me just give it all back to you again. Little Horn in Daniel 7, Daniel chapter 9's Prince who is to come. Abomination of Desolation in the Olivet Discourse, especially Matthew's. Second Thessalonians 2, The Man of Lawlessness. 1 John 2, 18, Antichrist who is to come. Beast of the Book of Revelation. They would connect all of those passages together and make that the same person and weave that to someone who is still yet to come in our future and also place Daniel 9 in the final seven weeks in our future. That's the premillennial understanding and connections of the Antichrist, a singular person who will come from a rebuilt fourth empire out of Daniel 7. I hope that helps you. God bless.